What's up guys, Josh Engelman here for awesomeo.com and I am finally back with my NBA DFS contenders for the return of the NBA and tonight's two game slate. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Jordan Clarkson is on the outside looking in today. Who will be my top 10 contenders for Thursday? It's time to find out. All right, coming in at number 10, we've got Mike Conley. He's 10th on FanDuel, 10th on DraftKings. Actually comes in number 7 on SuperDraft, 1.7x multiplier. He's going to have to do a little bit more creation with Boyan Bogdanovich out. There's going to be some extra shots to be taken. Bogdanovich, I believe, at like a 25-26% usage rate. It's time for Conley to put up and shut up. For Utah, he needs to dive in. And at 5,700 on FanDuel, 6,200 on DK, this seems like a perfect spot. I'm really excited to see what Conley can do after the layoff, hoping he's a little bit more healthy. And I'm hoping he can take advantage of some extra shots. Okay, coming in at number nine, we've got Brandon Ingram. I like him quite a bit better on FanDuel comparatively to DraftKings. He's sixth overall for me on FD. It's going to be a little bit of an experience getting all of these Pelicans guys together with Zion back, get them into a flow with their full starting five. You have to assume that Brandon Ingram has to take a little bit of a step back from a usage perspective when Zion's going to be on the floor. But at 7,300, given the way that that position breaks down today, I don't care at all. I love Ingram. He's going to play big minutes, or at least I expect him to. I've got him in for 35 I see no reason to get away from Brandon Ingram, especially on a day where small forward is sort of just a four-person group and then nobody else. Now, coming in at number eight, we've got Brandon Ingram's teammate, Lonzo Ball. This is a spot where I prefer Ball on DraftKings in comparison to where I like him on FanDuel. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for him on DK. He was playing great uh, before the the shutdown 1.15 fantasy points per minute i have him basically as a one fantasy point per minute guy the more talent that is on a team i think we're likely to see lonzo thrive that's just another guy that he could hit with a an, an outstanding pass he's going to be constant I, I see an assist rate just coming through the roof this is a perfect setup for lonzo now if they are at full strength i think he benefits brandon ingram benefits Zion, benefits J.J. Redick, he benefits Derek Favors. I think that Lonzo is just a big help, and at 7,400 on DraftKings, that's the spot that I want to lock him in. Coming in at number seven, and he's ranked seventh on FanDuel and DK. It's the board man that gets paid, Kawhi Leonard, 9,500 on FanDuel, 9,200 on DraftKings. I just really like this spot for Kawhi at sub-10K. I, f I expect him to be his full self here. I, I think that having a couple months off is a gigantic benefit for someone like Kawhi, who will always be nursing some lower leg injuries. I'm giving him 34 minutes, 35% usage rate, a 27-7 and seven type game as a baseline on this two-gamer. I feel like he's got a pretty high floor, and if things work out well and he can pick up a couple additional steals, he gets some of those defensive stats you're looking for. Kawhi could put up a monster number. 52 and a half is the GPP goal on FanDuel. I'll be kind of bummed if he doesn't get there, but I see 60 in his future, no doubts. Now, obviously, this guy, a little bit up in the air, still kind of questionable coming back after being in uh, outside of the bubble for a bit. Number six, Zion Williamson. He's my number four on FanDuel, number nine on DK, number five on Superdraft, where he is 1.4. X. I had to look down there. I wasn't totally sure that my microphone wasn't on mute. That would have been the worst. Uh, the FanDuel spot clearly looks better at 7,100, but you should be playing Zion across the board. I think he's going to get the minutes. These games mean way too much to the Pelicans for them to nurse him too much. They've got eight games. They need to make sure that they are one of the top nine teams. I think they're going for it here. Zion was at 1.23 fantasy points per minute before the shutdown. I fully expect him to get back to that range. I think he's fantastic. I think he's in better shape. 
And I think this is a spot where you want to prioritize Pelicans, in particular, Zion Williamson. All righty, coming in number five. This one is much more of a DraftKings play than it is on FanDuel. Uh, we'll get to the guy that I like most at center on FanDuel in a little bit. But for now, 7,100 for Gobert. I'm giving him the full freight, 34 minutes. I don't get the sense that uh, having the coronavirus four months ago is going to limit him all that much. He's just really talented. And at what I believe to be a discounted price, I, I can't see getting away from him in a DK build. I've got him projected for 15 and 12. You never know what kind of block party Rudy Gobert is going to put on. He wasn't playing all that great heading into the quarantine that he sort of started. But he was still a north of a fantasy point per minute guy. I think that he probably gets the better of a matchup against Derek Favors. So I can't really ignore him on DraftKings. I think you have to focus on Rudy Gobert. All righty, next up, number four. My favorite center of the day. 4,500 on both sites. Avicja Zubac. I don't know what to do with this guy. But I know this much. The Lakers are big. Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee. You could have AD at center. I don't see a scenario where Zubac can't play at the minimum 20 minutes. The only thing that's keeping him off, to, in my opinion, is foul trouble. I'm, I'm hoping that COVID is not going to play a role here. They only really have Joakim Noah behind him coming off of an Achilles tear, hasn't played in 18 months. I don't know how many minutes they can give him. And against this big Lakers front court. Zubac seems like the guy that has to be out there. I'm giving him 26 minutes, and if that's the case, you have to have him. This is a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy. He's a minimal salary, and it's possible that he has to play even more than that just given the matchup. The Clippers simply don't have the bodies in the front court to match up. I don't know if Marcus Morris is strong enough to handle that job, and if he is not, they're going to need it to be Zubac. This is the guy that I'm looking for. Whether it's FanDuel or DraftKings, as of right now, the way that I'm playing it, he will be my most exposed center. Now, I say that Zubac is going to be my most exposed center because I'm not really counting Anthony Davis there, even though he does have that eligibility on DK. But he's my number two guy on FanDuel, number two guy on Super Draft. I'm prioritizing AD. I'm not going to worry about the eye injury. 10-4 on FanDuel, the flat 10K on DK. I'm giving him the full minutes, 34. Uh... He was playing out of his mind before the break, 1.6 fantasy points per minute. I've got him in for 1.45 in this spot. I just think he is a nightmare for the Clippers. They don't have the Anthony Davis stopper. They've got a sea of dudes to line up on LeBron James, but as far as Anthony Davis goes, he's going to be able to do what he wants. I expect him to assert himself throughout this entire game and be the key piece for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I mentioned it at the beginning with Mike Connolly, but I'm moving here to number two, Donovan Mitchell, 7,200 on FanDuel, 7K on DraftKings, a 1.4X multiplier on SuperDraft. No boy on Bogdanovich, which means Donovan Mitchell is going to need to do even more. I've got his usage north of 30%. He's going to play 34 minutes at the minimum. I think he's going to be gunning. This is a monster pace up spot for the Jazz. All of those sorts of signs point to at least a ton of opportunity for Donovan Mitchell. Not the most efficient guy in the world, but that's not what I'm looking for. I don't need efficiency on a day like today, especially on a two-gamer. I'm betting on bulk, and I'm betting on Donovan Mitchell. And finally, the number one contender of the day, number one across the board, FanDuel, DraftKings, SuperDraft, it's Paul George, 7,400 on FanDuel, 7,200 on DK. The key piece here is no Lou Will. That's a lot of additional shots that Paul George can just simply absorb. Uh, I think he fills the stat sheet in many different ways. You never know if you're going to pick up a couple additional steals. Uh, he could have a big rebounding or an assist day, but I think he gets there with scoring too. I've got him in for 24 regular points. He's a 1.2 fantasy point per minute guy. I mean, you can see the distribution below his name. The, the chances of going for 54 plus are there, and he only needs 45 on FanDuel to be considered a mild success. That shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. If I have to pick between the two guys on the Clippers, I'm going to Paul George. I don't mind having them both, especially on a two-game slate. But if I'm starting my lineup, 
with any player that plays today, Paul George has to be that guy. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders for Thursday, July 30th. Had no idea what the date was. Again, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. We've got a strategy show up this morning. We'll have a live before lock show coming up later tonight. Baseball is going on regularly. NHL is back. PGA locks today as well. It's a ton of content on awesomeo.com, and now is the time to be a part of it. Use the promo code RESTART. When signing up, you can get yourself 50% off your first month of our all-access package. Get access to everything that we offer. But for now, NBA is my priority. Paul George is at the top of my list. And I will see you guys on Live Before Lock tonight when we break it all down again. Chris Spaggs, myself, the boss man, Alex Baker. The NBA is back and it feels great. Good luck tonight.